Here's your flowers, Billy. Oh, well, thank you. Not many around these parts that help an old man with such a task. Thanks again, stranger. Come on in, have some tea with me and Annabelle. I'm sure she'd love the company. All right, maybe just for a minute. It's my other half, lovely Annabelle. <clears throat> Much obliged. This a man helped me find these lovely flowers, Annabelle. Not half as lovely as you. <laughs> yeah, no, no, you don't look a day over 30, ma'am. Wait, it's a fine air and the good living up here in New Austin that keeps us so young and full of vigor. Annabelle was mentioning she wants to go up to Blackwater, ride one of those newfangled motor cars. Huh? No bumpy old horse carriage for my angel. <laughs> That's a good idea, Billy. I should get going. Well, you haven't had your tea. And, and, and Annabelle baked her special blackbird pie. Yeah, I'm sorry, Billy. I must have forgot. I've got an appointment with Planet Earth. Nice to meet you, ma'am. Farewell, John. Stop by any time. Oh, we play bridge on Thursdays. Let's go! Sorry, partner. Just run around, man. I need more straight to turn it. I need more. I'll play. There's going to be pain. I'm going to bid. All right. Let's see. You're going to die here. Get used to it. I can't stand to see 
see a man walk around with such a dry picture. Can I help? You're bluffing. Shy, big man. Spend some time with me. Yo, mademoiselle. You <laughs> perked my interest, mister. Got any follow-up You remarks? using that nose? Mister, is there anything of yours you'd like to stick in the cell? I'm just a no good son of a whore. That's all I hey, am. You you're probably gonna die. My bed. You can believe it or not, <laughs> but I actually look I don't know about you. Gaston. I think that's on the money. Hello. Any pains hmm. today? I smell. Think I'll make a bid. Hmm. Now, are you full of shit, I wonder? That's way off, my friend. Good job, Mr. Master. I congratulate you. <laughs> we got a joker here. Right, John. My bed. Hello, John. Interesting. You can't be serious. Why don't I make a bid? <laughs> You're a wily one, all right. Hmm, what a pleasure. Hello. Well, hello there. You can make good money for good meat of an West Elizabeth. That can't be. I right. know. Bonjour, mademoiselle. Got that orangutan smell on you, boy. Fancy around the liar's dice? Interesting. Oh, stay calm. That's it, fella. Stay calm.
Hey, Jack. Hey, Paul. Need a hand with that? Um, no, sir, I got it. Looks like you have. You know, you're real good with them tools. Thank you, Paul. You'll make this land real nice one day. Me and your mother will do our part. By the time your turn comes, hell, this could be the nicest farm in the county. Maybe, Paul. Just gotta learn to shoot straight or you'll get yourself eaten by some animal. Very funny, Paul. Thank you, son. Soon it'll be quail season. We should have some fun then. Is there anything you don't like shooting, Paul? Well, I ain't met the thing yet, but as soon as I do, I'll let you know. You can even put it in one of them books you read. Yeah, <laughs> maybe I'll do that. Today, John Marston stops shooting. Now, I ain't no literary man, but I don't think that'll sell. People like shooting in them things. I think you may be right there, Paul. So, uh, you ever hear talk about them machines that can make a man fly? Well, sure, Paul. Everybody knows about that. You know they're gonna be bringing one of those machines around the country next year for a demonstration? One of them machines can turn men into angels. One of them machines can turn men into angels. John! Come here! John, come here, quick! Take a look at that. Jack, go into the house, lock all the doors. Whatever happens, don't come outside. You hear me? Whatever happens. Okay. Come here, son. Whatever happens, keep the doors locked and your mother inside. Promise me, son. Promise me. Who is it, Paul? It's just some old friends. Me and Uncle take care of it. And you go inside and you keep the doors and the windows locked. I hear you. Then run! Yeah, run, boy. Well, old man, looks like things is about to get settled once and for all. So it seems. Oh, my good God! Best get that gun ready, old man. I'll keep watch out here. Get in there. There'll be more coming. What are we gonna do now? What's wrong? What's happened? Stay inside, you hear? Like I said, there'll be more coming. Paul, what do they want? I don't know, son. Whatever it is, it ends here. Oh, look how many there are. They're gonna kill us, aren't they? No, I ain't gonna let that happen. You ain't gonna take us!
this way, fellas. Hang in there, Uncle! I'm gonna get you out of here safe! Ain't time, John. I ain't gonna make it off this porch anyhow. You take Jack and Abby... <coughs> take them and... <coughs> Don't worry about me. Just get them out of here. No! Uncle, please! Oh, my God! They killed him! Come on, son. Ain't nothing we can do for him now. We're leaving the farm. I'll watch from the silo. You two go to the barn. Get the horses ready. John! I'll meet you there.
Alright, you're covered! Now go! Go! I'm sending you all to hell! Stop joking around! Send out the real soldiers! Let's head for the barn! Now! Quick! Run for it! All right, you're covered! Now go! Go! Are you still in training? You think you fool can stop me? Now! Quick! Run for it! The warning serving your country, ain't it? Listen, Jack, Narlin, get on this horse. Get out of here. Go find a place to hide. You're coming with us, Paul. I'll catch up. You keep riding and don't look back. And don't be worried about me, you hear? Now get going. You stay out of trouble, John. Ain't no trouble, Abigail. Ain't no trouble. I love you. I love you. Now go! Get! <laughs> Did you hear that? Jack, we have to go back for Pa. Let's go!
Oh, bury me not on the lone prairie where the coyotes wail and the wind blows free. And when I die, don't bury me neath the western sky. On the lone prairie.
Hello, sir. You work with the government? You one of them agents? Sure, son. <clears throat> Why you ask? Did you work with a man named Edgar Ross? I have something for him. Edgar Ross? No, but well knew of him. A fine man if you want a results. Won himself a chest full of medals. I think he went and retired about a year ago. Last I heard, him and his wife moved out to a cabin on Lake Don Julio. Lucky guy, getting to take it easy. He's fighting crime in this dump, that's for sure. <clears throat> well, thank you for the information, mister. Young man. Uh, excuse me, ma'am. Hello, young man. Hi. What are you doing out here? Are you out visiting the lake with your family? Uh, no, ma'am. I was looking to deliver a letter to Edgar Ross. Oh, that husband of mine. That bureau just won't get its talons out of him, even though he's retired. Edgar gave them some of the best years of his life. They ought to let him retire in peace. They'll not rest till they've killed him with worry, and he's such a sensitive man. I'm sorry. I shouldn't get so angry. I don't suppose any of this is your fault. There's no need to worry about him nowadays. Well, where is he? He and his brother Philip went hunting on the south side of the San Luis River. Be careful crossing over. They were saying it was dangerous. I sure will, ma'am. And don't worry about a thing. I'm sure your husband will be just fine. <sighs>
Hey there, mister. How's the hunting? Oh, pretty good, son. Got me a few rabbits, coyote, elk. Still looking for some trophies for the parlor. I've got a letter here for Edgar Ross. You know him? I, I heard he was down in these parts from his wife. Of course I know him. He's my brother. Gone down river, duck hunt. Must be a pretty important letter to have come all this way. Oh, yes, sir. Real important. I'll be on my way home as soon as I deliver this message. You best be off then. Just don't get on his bad side. He's got a filthy temper. Excuse me, you Edgar Ross? Do I know you? Forgive me for startling you, sir, but I have a message for you. My name is Jack Marston. You knew my father. <laughs> I see. I remember your father. I've come for you, Ross. <laughs> and you, boy, have sure shit found me. You killed my father. Your father killed himself with the life he lived. You killed him. I saw you. You keep saying that. You sent him to do your dirty work. Then you shot him like a dog. And I'll shoot you like one too, you little piece of trash. Now get out of here before I kill you as well. I ain't going nowhere, old man.